What's up guys, Chris here from Mainly Mesh. Welcome to a new series where we talk about how you guys can work on shooting better, harder, from the true overhand position. To me, a good overhand shot is as valuable as a technique as any other in the sport, and it's something I've spent a lot of time really analyzing, working on myself, and now I feel like I have a few good tips that I can show you guys to help you guys improve your game. One of the biggest things you want to work on while developing a really solid, effective overhand shot is hiding the ball from the goalie. So this is something you can really only do effectively overhand, which is why that overhand shot is so dangerous. What I mean by hiding your shot is being able to stick your stick behind your body so that you can get as far through your motion as possible before the goalie is able to pick up the ball. What I mean by that is that if Derek slides around so he's in front of me working in that sight line of the goalie is that if I am coming and I am twisting through my overhand shot so that it's more of a three quarters. The goalie can see the ball from behind my head, only loses the ball when it's directly behind my head and then can track the path of my stick all the way through that motion. If I work on hiding my stick as well as possible and getting this stick directly behind me, I can get all the way almost until about a quarter to, to a third of the way through my shooting motion before the goalie has a really good sense of where the ball is. And because we're working in that vertical kind of Y component of our shot, the goalie has the least amount of time possible to track the ball and determine whether it's going high or low in our shooting motion. There are a few different ways we can work on this. The biggest being find a mirror at home. It's the easiest way to do it. You don't need a wall, you don't need a goal, and really just make sure that when you're setting up for your shot, you can look back and have the stick behind your head at all times. What you're gonna find a lot of times, especially for people who shoot a lot sidearm, is that when you wind up, your stick is peeking out from behind your head. That's a natural tendency that happens after you shoot a lot of sidearm and we try to twist a bunch. So it's okay, don't worry about it too much, but really try to make sure when you're setting up overhand that you can get your hands back to that same position behind your head, righty and lefty, so that it's nice and protected as much as possible. So that's part one of this little series, guys. Make sure you guys are trying it out at home, trying it when you're at the wall, making sure that stick is directly behind you so you guys can get the best reps possible. Tune in next week for step two, and let us know if you have any comments or questions down below and things you'd like to see in the future. Thanks so much. Like, comment, subscribe. Catch you guys next time.